PJ. Uh, uh, uh. will do. Nothing over here. Turn around. Put down the knife. How about you do the same? We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. I'll take you to see him. Huh. How do I know you're telling the truth? Prove it. Show him to me. Trust me, and I will.
See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. We had to take precautions, you know, just in case. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. It must have been tough out there for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. You sound surprised. Like you think I can't handle myself. No, 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 not at all. Sorry, didn't mean it to come off that way. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. The walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well... I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but... we do alright for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. A good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Made a lot of trouble since then. We all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. Think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie. Where's your damn weapon?
Master of Fine Ass. Master of Big Ass. Juris Doctorate of Ass. from this floor. a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you. Hey. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. something else dreadful sorry clementine <laughs> what do you think aj i don't know this is loud it is loud is bad not always come press this key No. 
now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey. You seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. Got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> task of just coming to it all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. Look, I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls, they're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. Bunch of traps laying around this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Oh! <laughs> 
Nice timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Well, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. I'm fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's good. <sighs> AJ! <sighs> yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. He can't go around punching people in the. I don't want to expect me to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Well, scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. Well, let's try not hitting them, for a start. Or biting. He snuck up on me. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. 
all that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh I'm sorry. Huh. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know, bye. There's that girl I bet. Yeah. Want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes. I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just I just get scared and I'm sorry and I hope your finger is okay. Oh Shug, it's alright. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did.
Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? No. Let them have some space. Okay. I'm glad you're not in a graveyard. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earned your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on! Uh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. 
So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Flux? Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. Are you? Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happens. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. Never. Not even once? Never. Ha, <laughs> I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. Huh. Maybe you, Marlin? Oh. Really? That's what's happened to almost everyone I know who tried to keep a group alive. Huh. Yeah. Almost everyone. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax, get some sleep. Be human for a night. In the morning, come find me and talk about making this long term. If we can stay, we can talk about it.
That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Do you mind us being here? In their room? Nah. It's... it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, actually. I'm glad it's getting some use instead of just sitting around picking up dust. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, not there against those walkers. Hey, Clem. I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey, 
Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? That door is really sturdy. Trust me. I tried to get out earlier today. It wasn't easy. Oh, I don't know. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> Hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's into. these guys? They are firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look! Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lois. They're so little. Wow. They've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Seems. 
Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down at her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. will recognize you. She is really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker to come by. Vi and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place is a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> If I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends. Siblings. I, I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, uh, I just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Thank you.
Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. <laughs>